If you guys want a sticker, I've got lots of them. Got plenty of these in stock. So if you guys want to order a sticker, you can go to my website. I'll put a link in the description to it. We also have this t-shirt. Now this is just a little sneak peek because I don't have more than just this one for the moment. So we just have this one. I'll be doing different colors other than just white. This is a really high quality t-shirt. Hopefully you guys want a sticker to put on the back of your truck. I already put one on mine. It looks awesome. Go hit up my website. It'll really help out if you purchase one of these. Keep watching this video because at the end, I do a drop test on several different engine parts and it's pretty fascinating what the results are. But that's enough talking. Let's get to the live action. So guys, we finally have the tune. Everything's looking good. So we're gonna go ahead and make a draggy quarter mile pass. We need to take the bed cover off, the bed rug out, the tailgate off, and also fix the traction bars. And I'll show you guys what's wrong with that in just a minute. But for now, that's the plan. So let's go see what we can do to this thing to get it ready. This little problem popped up a little while ago and I just haven't spent the time to fix it. What's going on is I was such an idiot because I did not tighten down these, screw these uh, nuts right here. As you can see, there's one here on each side of the traction bar. You're supposed to tighten them down so that the bar does not spin. Well, dumb me did not tighten them down. So what happened was <clears throat> this got really jammed on here, almost like bound up on the threads. And so I wasn't able to twist it off. Um, I tried to do it at the drag strip. We just didn't have enough time and I gave up. So, and I just launched it anyway. But what was going on was we had this little gap here and you don't want that gap when you're trying to race. You want this nice and firm up against there. That one, you can't see it right now, but that one's nice and firm. This one was not up there all the way and I couldn't adjust it anymore because I couldn't spin the stinking bar. So I spent some time here tighten her down on that side so that it wouldn't move and then just grab my crescent wrench and just twisted this sucker off there. I got it off so now I'm going to clean the threads on it, clean it up with some oil and then put her back on and uh, hopefully we can figure that out. So I adjusted the traction bars. I finally got this thing to unscrew from this side and then I was able to back the other side out as well using the nut so we got it back to where we want it it's nice and tight up against the uh, leaf spring so both sides are good I tightened that side down as well so we're looking really good so let's go do some other stuff to get this thing ready okay guys we got the bed rug out of there got the bed cover off tailgate on these things is very easy to remove so easy you just take off this on that side and go ahead get the tension off of it and you're just gonna slide it up like that then you're just gonna you see this little notch here you're gonna roll you're gonna lift the tailgate up till it lines up with that notch and then you're just gonna pull out on the tailgate like that i need two hands to do this but then you just pull it out of the other side and it's out Got the truck parked here, just trying to watch these fireworks here. It is totally packed with people over there. All right, they're running some jet cars. We got jet car nationals, so let's see what they, see what happens here.
Hey guys, so a little shop update. There's not a lot going on right now. Jesse over at Engineered Motorsport Solutions is working on getting me a set of head gaskets made that are, that are gonna be a lot stronger than these. So he's working on that. And also he's working, he said he's got a, he's got a company that's gonna make the rods. So making some headway, Molly's gonna make the pistons. But for now things are kind of slowly moving forward with the engine. But we got everything sitting in here still. Block is still sitting here. So we'll, we'll get back to it soon and we'll get some, get some, probably have to get the block sent off to Jesse. I haven't forgot about the motor. I'm still doing it. It's just gonna take some time. So we got other things we're working on, other things we're doing, so. Yep, but we'll keep you guys updated on everything that goes on. Apparently the 5.0 liter oil pump gear, if you do the drop test, they will crack immediately. So I was kind of wondering, well, what if I dropped the 2.7 EcoBoost oil pump gear and see if it does the same thing? Let's go ahead and try that. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I will say, I've thrown this thing probably about 20 times on the floor. I've thrown it hard too, not just like dropped it from here. I've like thrown it against the concrete really hard. And I will admit, as you can see, I did get it to crack right here, right there, and right there. But guys, that's this thin back plate I still have not gotten the actual gear to crack. This thing is very thick and it's quite heavy for what it is. Let me show you a really hard throw. Let's see if we can get it to, to break. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's gonna break if I throw it really hard against the concrete? Let me know in the comments if you think it's going to. But let's give it a shot, let's see what happens. Okay, I was not gentle with it, that's for sure. Golly. Let's try that again. Here we go. Man, I can't get this thing to break. You gotta be kidding me, guys. I can't get, I can't break this thing. Still together. It doesn't have any more cracks on the back, just the same as before. That is really impressive. While we're talking about drop tests, what do you guys think? Should I drop test this? I kind of want to. Let's try it, here we go. Well, it's fine. Let's try it again. Let's drop it from a little higher up. It's just getting a little mushed. Eh, not really. Tiny bit. Not bad. Guys, we have a nice Grand National here. Turbo V6. Audi R8 on some nice B locks. Some Belak Industries B locks. Toyota tires. V10 Boost Logic. Got twin turbos back here. It looks like a titanium exhaust, got Boost Logic. Boost Logic twin turbo. It's like red, nice red housings on there. It looks really nice. Really 
really nice car. Follow their Instagram. Pretty awesome.